are you riding? Say you never ever leave from Team Touche! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're back in the kitchen. Chicken fajita quesadilla. So excited because I love Mexican food. Debbie O, this video is for you. Shout out to you right now. You put me in check. I can't believe I haven't posted a cooking video in two months. I'm so sorry. I know that's why most of you guys came. I'm a chef and you're looking for recipes. I'm sorry, I got a little distracted and posted some other videos. I'm back in the kitchen. First product, gluten-free brown rice tortillas, Trader Joe's. My first time having them. El Paso, spicy Mexican tomato sauce. Not too spicy, and it definitely adds a really good flavor to your meat. Any kind of meat that you're using that you just want it to have a good, nice, just kick to it, go and get this. Any store. The recipe asks for only half a pound of chicken. I got a little bit extra, I got 0.77. Depends on how much meat you want. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my meat into little cubes. You will need half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, half teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of cumin, quarter teaspoon of cayenne, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, half a cup of bell pepper that's green, red, whatever kind of bell peppers you like, and then also a half a cup of onions. If if you like onions. So it's time to cut our chicken. My head's gonna be cut off. into nice little chunks. Get all your pieces together like this. Cut it into threes. Nice size piece. Medium heat. Get your skillet. Okay, so now your pot is hot. I love that nice sizzle. Half a teaspoon of cayenne. Half a teaspoon of sea salt. Hot Mexican chili powder. Half a teaspoon of all of your seasonings and spices. Black pepper. It doesn't call for any seasoning salt. I really like Lowry's. A little bit of this. Doesn't call for any taco seasoning, however. Don't we all love it? A little bit of that. Garlic powder. Last but not least, we have our ground cumin. Stir everything up. Siri, set a six minute timer. I like to get it nice and browned. Don't stir it for about a minute. When you want to brown your chicken, you just leave it in the pot. It'll do its own thing. It won't burn if you have a non-stick pot. I didn't add any oil. Another time before the timer goes off. You see how it's nice and brown. So I forgot to mention in the beginning, make sure that you flatten out your chicken so that it can cook evenly. There goes the timer. Now time for our sauce. I put a little water in here, pour that in. Now we'll mix everything in. Let that simmer. It's been simmering for about a minute now. Siri, set a three minute timer. I started a three minute timer been about two minutes. Go ahead and stir it in. No, so good in here. Chicken is just about done. So now you see sauce is nicely marinating into the chicken. lightly with water, shake to eliminate excess, place on a plate and microwave for 30 seconds. So I wanna do both sides, shake it off just a little, put our tortilla in the microwave for 30 seconds. Siri, what's the temperature? About 107 degrees outside, hot. You think? Have our tortilla cooking. Put however much cheese you like. You wanna put your meat, optional, but you can add more cheese with your tortilla. Smash it down. Back to five. Since we have a gluten-free shell, you should try three minutes. Olive oil. So the time's halfway done. Flip. Oh my gosh, yes, it looks beautiful. A little bit more of olive oil. This side got a little brown. Tortilla in the microwave. 15 seconds this time. Three, two, one. This is a lot better. I'm letting this baby cool off. I don't like oily food, so I'm just letting it drain. Your chicken. 
It's optional, but I mean, it is a quesadilla, so I'm sure you want it pretty cheesy. It's already been one minute. I'm going to flip it, cook it maybe a little under three minutes. Let's see how the second one comes out. I like this side. It's nice and crunchy, but it's still also soft. Versus this side, it's just a little darker and it's a little harder, but it has a nice crunch. Three minutes is perfect. Ooh, look at that. This is how our quesadillas ended up coming out. Satisfied, but I'm really happy about this one. This one's nice and soft. This one has more of a crunch to it, but it's nice and cheesy in there. Salsa, sour cream. Before I wrap up today's video, I wanted to make sure that I took a bite of the food just to let you know how I like the recipe. Thank you God for this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. In Jesus name we pray, amen. I'm gonna dip it into the sour cream first because I hate when my sour cream gets all like yucky looking, but I don't mind when my salsa has a little sour cream. Mm. Oh my God, there's so much flavor. You guys have to try this. I'm not just saying it because I made it, but. <laughs> This is so awkward. Oh, you guys hear that crunch? Such a different flavor. It's so amazing. Like, oh my gosh. Guys, make sure that you comment below and you let me know how this recipe goes at home. If you have any questions about this recipe, please, please, please feel free to comment below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you comment, you like, and you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.